life has been quiet recently for Rhode Island Governor Gina Raimondo. Since her on-again, off-again stint as honorary chair of the Democrats' national convention, the governor seems to have kept her head down. I trust she's got some vacation in with the family. Now she's back, though, and Channel 10 reports that she's gently re-entering the political swim with a couple of easy floor exercises, just to loosen up. She was out last week to tell veterans how much she's done for them. Are you kidding me? Last week, the station reported that Governor Raimondo traveled to Warren to ceremoniously sign a handful of bills into law to help the vets. She pointed proudly to these measures as proof of her commitment to stand behind veterans. The measures included one to authorize employers to show hiring preference to vets. Another allowed employers to hold jobs for employees who are away on guard or reserve orders. Wow, I, I thought those two things were routinely done already. Who knew? Finally, the governor signed into law a stern prohibition against allowing dogs in the Rhode Island Veterans Cemetery. Okay, look, that's fine. The Veterans Cemetery should not be a dog park. Let's have a little more respect than that. I get it. But if that's the sum total of what she thinks she can do, I gotta tell you, I think Ms. Romano needs a vision exam. Want to help the vets? How about creating an environment conducive to economic growth? Vets want what we all want, a good business climate where they can go out and find some opportunity. It's not that hard, ma'am. You've heard it right here before. Lower state government expenditures. Once you lower the cost of government, you can lower the taxes. It forcibly extracts from the productive economy. Lower the regulatory drag on business overheads. There are plenty of permits and reporting requirements we can discontinue. By the way, if you do that, you'll already be started on the road to lowering cost of government. Finally, speed things up by instilling a culture of customer service in state government. Do those things for all of us, and this veteran will thank you for it, because it won't be as easy as coding the obvious into law for a photo op. Are you kidding me?